The EPA uses the NADA information in many ways, but primarily to prioritize our efforts to regulate emissions of hazardous air pollutants. Uh, this includes the large stationary sources, the industrial sources of hazardous air pollutants, as well as mobile sources and smaller industrial sources of um, hazardous air pollutants. We also use it to try to understand where we might do a better job of investigating sources of hazardous air pollutants and their impacts. Um, we can do this by placing monitors for specific hazardous air pollutants in areas where we think there might be some problems. And we can do this by uh, developing a survey of emission inventories uh, in a particular area, again, where we think there might be some problem associated with these uh, emissions of hazardous air pollutants. We do caution NADA users against comparing NADA results without any further validation uh, from, state, from one state to another. And this has to do with uh, different methodologies which may be used from state to state to develop the emissions inventory. As I say, we are working to improve that information along with our partners in each of the states. Um, but we are not at the point where each state utilizes the exact same approach to develop and understand their emissions of these various hazardous air pollutants. Be careful and be, uh, be very prudent when interpreting the results of these NADA assessments. As, as I mentioned, we use them to improve our understanding. We also use them to identify areas where we might have data gaps. As such, we caution users to um, over -interpre against over-interpreting their results uh, of NADA and trying to, to make conclusions. Rather, we uh, recommend using the results to identify areas for further study before coming to specific conclusions about which sources and which pollutants might require the most regulation in order to achieve uh, an ample protection of safety.